So, how does it feel to be the last original female member of this cast? No, I, uh, <laughs> good. <laughs> still but alive. sad, because yeah. I wish they were still around. But yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, you know, I think the season's opening up a lot of new doors. Um, new characters are able to come in, and obviously with the 13th episode pick up, you know, it just changes the pace of the show. It's, you know, the past this year, storylines are a little more condensed, which is, it just changes the show. Yeah. Well, during this time jump, what's Haley been up to besides raising, raising a daughter? Is there something going on? Um, I don't know. I would love to think that she wasn't just spending like 24 hours a day thinking and looking for cures for the Michelsons. I would think that like maybe she like did some fun things with her daughter and like went on a holiday or something. She probably didn't. But, uh, you know, I think she's just been bonding with getting to know her kid. Um, and, you know, I think what's going to be really fun is to play this new character as Hope um, and where you know what kind of a little girl she is she may be a little bit like Klaus has she got a little bit of a dark side um, you know she is his daughter um, and I think that's going to be a story I think it was time to I know was she like mourning her lost loves I mean she had Jackson and Elijah yeah, I mean, I think now, you know, five years have passed, so I think enough time, I think she still thinks about the people that she lost, but um, I also think that, you know, time has moved on, and she also has her kid now, and her kid is her sole priority. Yeah. Well, we've kind of heard that maybe Klaus is going to come back into the picture fairly quickly. How is that reunion going to be between Haley and Klaus? Um, you know... I don't, I think she's been thinking about them for the last five years. I think it's going to be very weird to see them all again. I think a lot of time has, changed, it has passed and things have changed. But, you know, I think he's going to be really emotional to see that he missed so much of his daughter's life. I'm sure that would be really hard to leave your daughter when she's a baby and then come back when she's like a young woman. Woman. Not a young woman, but like a little lady. Like she's like a walking, talking little girl, you know. Yeah. Uh, therapy, uh, just perhaps uh, during the season, will take a more increasingly important role. Sorry. I, um, the the Dewey's. Uh, do we think that her baby will perhaps take a, a more important role in the series this season? Yeah, definitely. I think now that she's seven, like she is a character. She is got her own storylines, <laughs> she's got her own interests and her own maybe, as I said, dark side to her, maybe she, uh, you know, I think she's a very powerful witch, she may be a bit of an ally to Freya because, you know, she may be able to help Freya with witchcraft and things like that, so yeah, it's going to be really interesting. <laughs> How does she balance like the wolf side of all of that? I mean, obviously her daughter's part witch, part wolf, and has a little bit of vampire in there. Yes. I don't know. We haven't seen that yet. I'd love to see like a little puppy wolf, and then like a big wolf, and then just like running around the world. That would be really cute. <laughs> Well, she's also, um, Haley's a very badass character in her own right. She doesn't strike somebody that would sit around and just wait for things to happen. I think she'd want to be proactive and go after things if she perceives a threat of any kind. Are we going to see some of that initially, or is it all just straight protection mode for her daughter? I think it's probably just straight protection mode. You know, she's never had family, and now she does in her daughter, and it's just the only thing that she loves, she's like, the only thing she cares about, and I think she'd do anything to just protect that, to protect so we're going to see more mellow side of Haley then. Um, yeah, I just think that the world has changed for Haley now. She's alone, just her and her daughter. Um, and I just, yeah, I don't think, I think it's mellow. I think she just is kind of been on a, she's been on a mission for five years, and I'm sure when she's finally able to save them, um, she will be able to resume some sort of level of, you know, normalcy maybe with her daughter. So what would be her first thing she wants to tell Elijah when she sees him again? Yeah, what do you think Elijah wants to see? <laughs> uh, did they, uh, what would be the first thing I'd say to you? Oh, well, I know, I'd be like, what did you do with my father? Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> 
a world according to God. Do they have dogs in hell? Wow. wow. <laughs> I can only really say that because you're so fit now. Like you're so fit. Um, so what would your character Elijah want to tell Haley when he sees her first time? Something kind of, she said to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. What, you don't want to say something? Where do you, where do you cops, like, labeled as, like, a bad thing? terrible way to dig yourself out of the stage. Really? <laughs> um, doesn't she look gorgeous today? Yeah. She's like, can I, can I, can you see her shoes? I want to show you. Show you. Yeah, I know. Oh, uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a leak. I'll keep this covered like a gentleman. Oh, look at those shoes. Amazing shoes, right? Yeah, my take over Oh, no, we'll start away. Do you have any dual questions? Oh, wait. Absolutely. Yeah, is, is there hope yeah, for this relationship, or is that door completely closed at this point? Have you guys discussed that with Michael? <laughs> Maybe it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the dead door is closed. I, I, I just had a slam shut. Um, you know, um, yeah, but some we, passions burn forever. Would yeah, you like to think they had that? Uh, I was just saying before, like, what, what, what I enjoy about this relationship is that I, I feel like... <laughs> Phoebe and I are always actually kind of drawn to the restraint of it because we can't stand it. We don't want to touch each other. We said we actually we actually enjoy the unspoken and the stuff that's in between and teasing that out. And I do feel like it's, it is a credit to the writers and they've maintained that very Dickensian sense of kind of distance and proximity. Um, I think that it's only sort of heightened the fact that we're not sort of physically expressing our, our intimacy at all. We should always act out a scene. Like we're kind of looking at each other. Yeah, yeah the same. Yeah. And then you pull me back. Oh, right. oh, yeah, let's try that again. <laughs> like Elijah, I, oh, should I can't do that? that, that. <laughs> Turn around, and then you go to grab me and pull. Okay, one more time. Take Cherry, take Cherry. Elijah, I. Oh, yeah. And then we kiss. And but then we, then we kiss. Like, we're not going anywhere. We're, we're not in character. We're not in costume, so we can't do that. Oh, sorry, I misread that. We can't do that. Okay, don't do that. Don't do that. That's a, there's, there you go. There's a lot of that. There's a lot of pulling. We're always coming close. Or are you guys a little afraid that perhaps it might be a Cammy and Klaus situation the minute she sleeps with you, she dies instantly? <laughs> I, this show will never be without Phoebe Tonkin. I've made so many. I've said that. <laughs> uh, uh, the, the show could not survive without Phoebe. <laughs> the the heart and thigh of the show. <laughs> So clearly you have a lot of fun on set. Is there too. anything you can share from this past season, like bloopers or pranks or a funny moment? But this, it's hard to find specifics because we just enjoy every day so much with each other. I'm actually, I'm sad to leave, but I think that we're, I think that we're not going to have, have a... I'm, say, I'm, 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 not, I'm dying. I'm so I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, I, I will be sad to leave when we go. Like I, I don't think we're, I'm gonna have a, a, a big part of the cast practice uh, lovely. Okay. Well, maybe I will. Probably. Just take everyone and make your own movie. Uh, it is like you said it today in, some, in an interview. You said you know the stakes are so high and everything is very serious that it would be very heavy if you were always so deep and serious in playing the scene as well. And it's nice to be able to like have a bit of lightness and dark around and then kind of be like, ah, be screamed out and, and then kill cry and then we can joke around again. Last question for Daniel. I'm taking over your interview. Yes, Daniel. So, we've already addressed how you guys and your characters would talk to each other. What's Elijah's frame of mind going to be when he sees Klaus again? What's he going to want to tell his brother? Thank you. <laughs> and finally. <laughs> Thank you. I'll answer that for you.